candle holders, weekly schedules. This video is gonna be on classroom environment. Check it out. Hey, this is Annika. One of the most important components of your classroom is the environment that students are walking into. So this week I really wanted to highlight some of the things that you can do to set the mood um, or to just make sure that there's structure for the students in the classroom. So when we're talking about mood, especially when we want to brainstorm or we want to just think of great ideas, then why not set it in the way you light the classroom? So this kind of gives you the ambiance when you use candle holders. Um, to kind of get them in the mood of, of that thinking and brainstorming and there are a couple of different ways that you can light these up. I found these at the dollar store as well so you just pop it in there you have one at each table and you've got something there for the students to visually kind of stimulate them and I love having the idea of different colors at the different tables to kind of mix it up a little. But the candle holders I really liked the most were the ones that had these phrases on them. This one says good vibes and this one says you are my sunshine. I love the positive affirmation that this gives students while they're sitting there brainstorming. So if you see these versus the plain ones, why not use these because it just kind of gives a little bit extra to the students to feel better. I found this at the dollar to five dollar section. It's those little mini lights. They look kind of like what I would think of as um, lightning bugs or fireflies depending on where you're from. So putting one of these in one of, in one of the candle holders kind of would set a different kind of mood, a little bit more you know, fantasy, a little bit more imagination, and uh, I just thought this would be a fun way. It's a little bit more expensive, so it really depends on your budget as to which one you would choose to use. And speaking of positive affirmations, let's talk a little bit about some of these things that you can do. Um, I love the idea of having these on a board in your classroom, and they earn a sticker for uh, different things. I really wouldn't use this for all behaviors, but maybe just as a community. When a student praises another student for doing something helpful, or when you see a student do something for another that is, is, is really encouraging to them. Those positive affirmations that you give the student verbally are great, but putting it visually onto a chart and letting them earn something as well is just a really cool idea. So this one already has 10 charts in it and then four sheets of stickers. So you could get, you know, just four of these and you have 40 to go and it's four bucks. So a really good deal. And we all have those students that might need that visual schedule. Uh, some students really need to be able to have the structure of seeing exactly what they're doing each day, each time of the day. And that's where I found these at the, the Target section as well. And they were a dollar. Um, I love these because it has Sunday through Saturday. You can mark out Sunday and Saturday or put something silly or pictures or something fun there. So they know that that's their break. And then it has boxes where you can actually say, here's where you're going today. This is what is happening on Monday, Tuesday, so on and so forth. Um, this really is a great way to provide some structure for students and it's a whole sticky pad of them so you can use these for your various students that might have different schedules uh, than what you actually have posted on the board. So if you have other ideas for how you make your classroom inviting and encouraging to come up with creative ideas, to also feel that they're in a structure, that they can have confidence in, in moving forward in their day, then please share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video today. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button, that you subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.